today we're going to take a closer look at a Material Master bulk bag discharger for oxalic acid. To operate, the operator lifts the bulk bag using the hoist up into the frame. They then lower the bulk bag down on top of the massagers, turn the massaging system on, The product will discharge through the bag spot access chamber, through the discharge transition, and down into the lump breaker. I'll go ahead and turn the lump breaker on for you. The lump breaker is located here. This crushes the material, the oxalic acid chunks. Material then drops down into the conveyor hopper. This custom built Material Master bulk bag discharger includes a Seal Master bag spot access chamber with gull wing doors. The flow lock gate is electrically interlocked to the chamber doors, so the flow lock gate will not operate unless both of the chamber doors are closed. As you can see, Gate is open. I turn the switch to the closed position. The gate is now closed. If I try to actuate the gate when the chamber doors are open, it will not function. So the doors electrically interlock for operator safety, both doors. Safety interlock switch on the right hand door and the left hand door. This bulk bag discharger includes a dust collection system. This is the dust collector housing. This is a dust collector fan. And the dust collector is mounted to the product discharge hopper. So as we discharge product out of the bulk bag into the hopper, it allows the dust to vent up through the filters and we are drawing a negative so we're creating vacuum to draw dust into the dust filters during the discharge process. The screw conveyor hopper includes a low level sensor located here and the hopper also includes a motorized material agitator. The oxalic acid that the customer is handling in this application does solidify or take in, bulk, in the bulk bags. So we take the bulk bag, we load it into our hydraulic bulk bag conditioning station here. We loosen the material, soften it, and then we can take it to the bulk bag discharger, discharge it through that equipment, and remove the remaining lumps using a dual rotor lump breaker.